Hey guys, what's going on? I know it's been quite some time since I uh, made a, a political commentary video. Yeah, I know, it's busy. That's why I always say, right? Always been busy. And I was on vacation for the last week where I had no internet, believe it or not. I can't believe people still live with no internet. <laughs> so I've not had a chance to make one in quite some time. Even before vacation, I was busy as hell. I um, want to congratulate myself for reaching a huge milestone, passing 300 subscribers. Yeah, I know, uh, soon I will be able to have enough subscribers to get enough views to make enough money on YouTube to live it off it. <laughs> it's a joke, in case you guys didn't get it. No, it's a hobby, whatever. I have 300 subscribers, whatever. Who cares? I'm having fun. And uh, it's a milestone, so yeah, boom, let's try to make it to 400, man. Yeah, I'm really raking in. <laughs> But today we're going to talk about something so incredibly dumb that it's impossible not to talk about. I don't know why, why my mouse is waking the fuck out. That's weird. Weird. Anyway, so we're going to go through this glorious article. Just look at that headline. How can you not talk about that headline? That headline is so utterly amazing. I think I said this before. Just when you're used to the amount of stupidity you see in politics or in the news, whatever, whatever. Some people throw you a curveball in left field and totally blow your mind and totally just do something completely different than what you ever expect or you ever seen before and come up with this shit. <laughs> if you would have told me just a year ago that this would be a headline, this is actually happening, this is not fake news, this is not a joke, this is not Babylon B or The Onion, that would have laughed in your face. And yet this is real. This is actually happening. Migrants in caravan sue Trump and his administration, alleging abuse of constitutional rights. Holy fucking shit. Can we just go through how stupid that sentence is? The Constitution applies to U.S. citizens only. These migrants are not American citizens. And even then, you know, people on... Uh, green cards, visas, whatever, even they have rights under the U.S. government. I'm not saying, like, just because you're not a citizen suddenly means anyone can do anything to you when you're in the U.S. because you have no rights. That's not, that's not the case. Of course it's not the case. The Constitution only applies to American citizens. These migrants are not American citizens. Therefore, the Constitution does not apply to them. Therefore, Trump could not, in any sense of the word, in physical, abstract, mentally, psychologically, whatever you want to think of. There is in no way he can abuse these migrants' constitutional rights because they have no constitutional rights. Yet they are so fucking brainwashed and so entitled and so selfish that they are honestly doing this. They are honestly filing a class action civil suit against Trump. This is the most amazing thing. And I know I say that a lot. That's because they keep on one-upping, as I just said. Stupidity keeps on one-upping themselves. So I, several times a year, I say, wow, that is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And that is completely true. Honduran migrants traveling in a caravan to seek asylum at the U.S.-Mexico border are suing President Donald Trump, Attorney General Jeff Sessions, and other key figures, arguing the administration's stance is shockingly unconstitutional. I'm sorry, I had to pause for a second because stupidity almost killed my brain outright. Um, there is nothing about enforcing a border against illegal immigration. Nothing about that at all is unconstitutional. These migrants need to learn fucking English and read the goddamn constitution to figure out why that statement is retarded. I'm sorry. That is just so categorically wrong. There is nothing... Trump is doing in regards to this issue that's is unconstitutional. He does other un unconstitutional things, I'll give you that, but it's not this. Furthermore, his stance is exactly the same as Obama's, as Bush's, as Clinton, as the Bush before him. It is surprisingly consistent. Democrats and Republicans have been surprisingly consistent on immigration for decades now, except for the last couple of years, and Democrats went off the deep end and went full no borders. They went full retard. They went full, we don't want any borders, borders are racist, anyone can move wherever they want at any point in time. Barring those room temperature IQ fuckwits, every single other administration 
has had exactly the same stance. So therefore, if they are calling Tr President Trump's stance on this issue unconstitutional, guess what? That means Obama was also unconstitutional. But guess the fuck what? You didn't hear all these brown people whining about abuse of their constitutional rights when Obama did the same thing to them for eight years. No, of course he didn't. Because they know, they, they know this is all BS. It's all political. Trump, orange man is bad. Republicans are racist. That is what they have been brainwashed. And that is what their code is in their NPC freaking code that they're written. If you went out to them and say, hey, Obama did the same thing that Trump did. So why is Trump unconstitutional and Obama isn't? None of them would be able to explain anything. Their coding would malfunction, they'll glitch out, and they'll just scream racist. This is how we have devolved so much. That literally, a president can do the exact same thing as a previous president, and the exact same people can be perfectly okay with it when their team does it, but when the other team does it, it's suddenly not only just wrong, they're not just calling it wrong or I don't agree with that, they're calling it unconstitutional. The class action civil suits uh, filed Thursday in U.S. District Court in Washington, D.C. claims Trump continues to abuse the law. No, 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 there's no law that he's abusing in regards to this issue. No, nope, absolutely not. Including constitutional rights. You don't have constitutional rights to deter Central Americans from ex exercising their lawful right to seek asylum in the United States. No person has the right to seek asylum in a specific country. These Central Americans have the right to asylum. That is correct. They have the right to seek asylum in the nearest country bordering their country. Newsflash, look it up on Google. That is under the um, Geneva Convention. That is everyone's rights as an asylum seeker. That is their right. Not to go wherever the fuck they want and go to the surprisingly rich country that offers all these benefits and doesn't check for... Uh, um, illegal immigration status and has all this secret underground economy where um, illegal immigrants can flourish for decades and not learn English and just be perfectly fine. What a coincidence they're going there. What a coincidence they're not staying in Mexico. Well, guess what? Because Mexico's a shithole. So, like, every single part of this claim, the abuse of the law, the uh, breaking of constitutional rights, and for breaking their lawful rights to asylum, every single part of that is wrong. Literally, none of this has any bearing on reality whatsoever. It has bearing to their political stance and their political orange man is bad trump is hitler we must get rid of him through any means necessary and this is a mean that they're trying to do that is the only way if you honestly believe trump is hitler well, if you honestly believe trump trump is hitler then this is the only way how this it makes sense at all but that begs the question if trump is literally hitler he's turning into nazi germany then why the fuck do you want to get here so desperately if this place is such a Horrible white supremacist capitalist patriarchy who, like everyone but white men, like their lives freaking suck and they have no rights to being trampled on and they're, they just, they're just second class citizens, whatever, whatever. If that is honestly the case, as liberals constantly espouse, then why the fuck do these all these migrants want to come to the US? Wouldn't they want to go to Mexico, which is not a white supremacist capitalist patriarchy? No, but they, oh, but they don't want to go there, do they? Oh, what a coincidence, right? I'm sure it's all a coincidence and I'm just crazy. The suit asked the federal court to declare a number of Trump's recent policy proposals to be in violation of supreme law of the land to end this case in controversy. Well, what's supreme law of the land? You mean some constitutional amendment that doesn't exist? Or some law that doesn't exist? Or some right to asylum in a specific country that doesn't exist? Is that the supreme law of the land? Nah, the supreme law of the land gives the United States the rights to uh, have a border and enforce it with the military if necessary. Womp womp. Oh, look at these poor innocent brown people. Oh, we're just so racist because we don't want to give them everything with no strings attached. We don't want to just... You're racist if you want to give these people everything to live off of. For Christ's fucking sakes. Six entitled pricks. Oh, sorry. Six hundred migrants walking in a caravan to seek asylum at the U.S.-Mexico border filed a class action lawsuit against President Donald Trump, attorney Jeff Sessions and other key figures arguing the administration's immigration proposals are shockingly unconstitutional. Well, I've already explained why that's not the case. Okay, these, oh my god. These first two paragraphs are exactly the same as this, what a surprise, they repeat this thing over and over again so the NPCs can understand it. The migrants' attorney, John Shorman, argues that some of the Trump's, uh, 
Policy proposals violate the due process clause of the Fifth Amendment. Oh my God. The due process clause of the Fifth Amendment is in regards to when you're being arrested for something. They don't just throw you in jail or put you in prison for decades without due process, a.k.a. access to a lawyer, a fair and speedy trial, being judged by their judge or a jury, whatever. That's what due process means. Not, if you don't give everything we want, free of charge, and let us go wherever you want, and just trample your borders and ruin your fucking country, oh, you're violating the Fifth Amendment. Wow. That is a shockingly low IQ way of interpreting the Constitution. Even undocumented immigrants have due process rights under the U.S. law, though uh, that can vary depending on the legal precedent being applied, PO supported, which is true. If you're an undocumented immigrant, you have uh, the rights, like the police can't just arrest you, throw you in jail for two, 20 years saying you're an enemy against the state. Now that's what China does. We don't do that here. Where, where does that mean we don't do that here with the, from the Black Panther? We don't do that here, even against undocumented immigrants. Even if you are a murderer, the police can't just take you and shoot you in the back of the head and that's the end of it. Now you still have due process rights even though you murder someone. Undocumented immigrants, even though they broke the law, they still have due process rights. Due process rights do not include going wherever you want in a country. Where the freak are these people getting these ideas from? Oh, from the mainstream liberal media. You know these low IQ fucktards are not coming up with this idea on their own. No fucking way. They've been fed it. Because they're political pawns. Blah, 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 blah. Ahead of the midterm elections, Trump has ratcheted up both his rhetoric and policy proposals on immigration issues zeroing on in the caravans because the caravans are approaching the border. <laughs> That's like, oh fuck, I don't know. Uh, there's, there's more gang activity in Chicago, for example. More murders, more robberies, whatever. And then the mayor calls it out more and more often because it's happening more and more often. And then people whine, oh, he's ratcheting up his rhetoric and policy proposals. Yeah, in response to the ratcheting up of the caravan's activities holy shit i just oh my god <laughs> oh it's so painful to read this but i do it for you guys uh the president has repeatedly described the groups as invasion they are if if thousands upon thousands of people you have no idea who they are what diseases they have what their um criminal history is what their plans are in this country if thousands upon thousands of them are marching towards your border how is it not an invasion? I want that Steven Crowder meme. This this is an invasion. Change my mind. I would like someone, anyone, to try to explain to me how this is an invasion. I haven't been able to find an answer. None of the liberals, hardly any liberals want to talk to me, first of all. The, the rare ones who do just call me a racist for not wanting to give these migrants wherever they want. And so they have not answered the question how this is an invasion. So I'm still waiting. I assume I'm going to be waiting for quite some time. I've been waiting for some answers from liberals for years now. I've been waiting for them to show me where Trump is racist for about uh, two and a half years. I haven't got any answers about that yet. Still waiting. Still hopeful. Shorman said in a court filing that the plaintiffs are seeking asylum and Trump simply cannot stop them from legally doing so by using the military or anyone. Oh yeah, you can. Actually, you can. And what is a coincidence, the lawyer does not immediately respond to CNBC's request for an interview. What a surprise. Because he can't defend his ideas without a pre-written statement. He can't defend an interview, so he does not have to do that. Trump has also floated the possibility of an executive order to end the long-standing policy of birthright citizenship for people born to non-citizens within the U.S. An action many legal experts say would violate the Constitution, which is true. Executive order to end an amendment is unconstitutional, it is a completely horrible idea, and I fully condemn Trump for even mentioning this. You should never ever mention this ever. That is such a horrible idea to give the presidency so much power as to end an amendment through an executive order. So take note, people, I'm, I'm criticizing Trump where criticism is due. I'm not calling him a racist because he doesn't give brown people everything they want. That's stupid. I am calling him out. Because the Constitution, the way that how to amend the Constitution is very difficult, takes a long amount of time for a reason. Because it's 
bears so much uh, responsibility on the effect of the country. The Founding Fathers did this on purpose to make sure that the people and the legislature were absolutely sure this is what they want to change an amendment because it takes so long. If it's so easy, if you can end an amendment by the executive order, well then any president can change the, the Constitution radically with just the swipe of a pen, which the presidents write a buttload of executive orders all the time, which is again, abuse of their power. So while this is related to the problem, this is a completely separate issue, and I can make a whole new video on why this is a bad idea and Trump shouldn't do that, but even if he did this, the Supreme Court would tear it down saying, uh, you, no, this isn't how you change the Constitution. Change the Constitution by rewriting the amendment or getting rid of it like we got rid of the amendment doing prohibition. We got rid of that amendment by writing a new amendment, canceling it out. That's how you change the Constitution. You don't change the Constitution through executive order, which takes two seconds to write. Okay, I think I made a position clear on that, even though it's completely different. He ties this in. The author ties this in, making it seem like it's the same issue because he wants to make Trump again seem like a racist. But no, it's a completely different subject. On Thursday, the president said he would plan to block arrivals to make asylum claims outside of designated ports of entry in spite of current asylum law. The fact that innocent children... Oh my god. He invoked the... Won't someone think of the children meme? They do it again. Man, they love using this trope, don't they? They really love using it. They use it all the fucking time, apparently. The fact that innocent children are involved, does that mean we just throw laws out the window and say, oh, yeah, I guess we can let them do whatever they want. Why? Because they have innocent children. And this is the reason why it's a meme when someone think of the children. Because if we did that every single time someone wanted to change something or do something, well, then there would be no rule of law. There'd be no order. Anyone could do whatever they want and just say, nope, I have innocent children involved in this scenario. Boom, I can do what I want. You can't do anything against me, otherwise you hate children. That's why that argument is a laughing stock on the internet. The lawsuit arrives with a less than a week before the midterms were a coincidence, even as caravans remain weeks away from America's southern border, and all this goes on and on and on, and I don't care. So the caravan is just, so we're, we're going to wrap this up because I'm going to tie it into the midterms because the midterms are less than a week away. What a coincidence of all this shit's happening, right? The caravan is just a number of issues that Democrats have taken a stance on in recent weeks and months. And it's totally backfired on them and why there will be no blue wave and why they will make no gains in either the Senate or the House. And while and why they are driving so many people to the right, including myself. I said in a previous video, um, and I'll reiterate again, that I will vote for libertarians whenever libertarians are running in an election. But in the many races that there are no libertarian candidates there, I will vote for Republicans. The Democrats have pushed me to the Republicans, and I do not agree with a lot of their proposals. In fact, a lot of the proposals are stupid. Case in point, Trump thinks that he can change the Constitution and the executive order. Completely wrong. Completely horrible precedent. Imagine if the other way around, imagine if Obama said, yeah, I'm just going to get rid of Second Amendment with, a, with um, an executive order. That would literally cause a civil war. That is why there's a horrible freaking idea. The caravan, the Kavanaugh hearings, um... Uh, what else have they taken a stance on that's really stupid? Those are the two where I've topped my head. That have completely shown how horrible they are. Not only the caravan issue, but the no borders things in general. The no border idea in the Democratic Party is becoming more and more, more and more strong. Has become stronger in recent years. And now the vast majority of Democrats, when you ask them, do you believe in no borders? They will say yes. And that's why... They lost in 2016. That is why they will lose in a few days from now. Because that is a horrible, horrible policy that literally destroys nations. And rational people realize that and are leaving the Democrats' party in droves. Remember the hashtag walk away where lots of Democrats were explaining to people on the internet why they're leaving the party? Democrats tried to play down the severity of that hashtag by saying, oh, it's just Russian bots making up crap. Oh, what a surprise. By dismissing people's arguments as just Russian trolls or bots. The people who cry about NPCs, the NPC meme dehumanizing them, constantly call people Russian bots. I've been called a Russian bot so many flipping times. How is being called a robot not dehumanizing? You're taking away my argument. You're not even addressing any point of my argument whatsoever. And you're just saying, oh, you're a bot. Russia's paying you to post that. You really mean it. You know what that is? That's a cop-out. You can't address my argument on its points and uh, refute it with counterpoints. So you just... 
invalidate, try to invalidate all of it and saying, oh, you're a Russian bot. And that just shows you're a child who can't argue and why you're a loser and why your policies suck and why you, you will continue to lose elections with that freaking attitude. So the, the Al Kavanaugh hearings where they believe that you should believe women no matter what with no evidence and any women can take down any man by just accusing of sexual harassment. Oh, where are they, by the way? Don't, if they were honestly uh, sexually assaulted, as they claimed, don't you think they would still, like, go after Kavanaugh? Don't you think they would, like, file a lawsuit or continue to claim for evidence or something, anything? What a coincidence, as soon as Kavanaugh was nominated Supreme Court, like, actually became a Supreme Court, uh, they, they shut the fuck up. Well, what a coincidence, right? I'm sure it's an entire coincidence. Just like when all those women accused Trump of sexually harassing them right before the election, and then he won, and then they all shut up. What a coincidence, right? So that, plus the caravan issue, plus the whole no borders issue, like time and time again, the Democrats are shooting themselves in the foot. They are so unhinged and so freaking horrible on almost every single policy I can think of. And that's why they won't win the midterms. They will not gain, I predict they will not gain the majority in either uh, legislative body. They, they're just completely horrible. They are so unbearable to deal with. Time and time again, they do this. If, if we had more time, I mean, I'm like 20 plus minutes here, I'll wrap it up. I said I'll wrap it up like five minutes ago. <laughs> if you gave Democrats all the power in the world and they enacted every single one of the policies that they want to enact, it would be a hellhole. It would be so unbearable to live in. And people realize this, and this is why they don't want, this is why people walked away from the party. This is why they're not going to win. This caravan thing, tying into the midterm, this caravan issue is just a, a number one of those issues. They, they don't understand the Constitution. They don't understand our national law. They don't understand anything. Like I said, nothing they said in this entire article has any bearing on re reality whatsoever. And that's why they're loose.